Anyone who is in the defense industry is presently taking part in the 2025 International Defense Exhibition and Conference or IDEX, taking place in Abu Dhabi these days, we already knew we were to expect a week filled with novelties from this field, and the companies taking part did not disappoint. The name Milram Robotics constantly comes up in the news concerning autonomous or remote-controlled weapons systems, more specifically thanks to its Themis Unmanned Ground Vehicle, or UGV. Now that this year's IDEX kicked off, the focus falls on something called the Havoc Robotic Combat Vehicle, or RCV. Just like the other products in the Estonian company's arsenal, the Havoc is a UGV as well, only unlike the Themis, which relies on tracks to move over terrain, this one relies on no less than eight wheels, all of them spinning under the power supplied by the vehicle's drivetrain. The platform has been designed as a means to carry weapons and provide soldiers with a fighting platform that can be controlled from afar, keeping its operators out of harm's way. Aside from being more than capable of holding its ground on its own, it can also be used as support for mechanized units, self-driving wingmen for battle tanks, or troop transporter. The 8x8 relies on a hybrid propulsion system that not only makes it pretty good at going over pretty much all kinds of terrain imaginable, but also makes it whisper quiet and hard to hear coming by enemy forces. Milrem did not reveal what kind of hardware goes into the drivetrain, but we do know a thing or two about its capabilities. It's powerful enough to have the Havoc travel at speeds of up to 110 km per hour on the road, and less than half that off of it. The thing weighs 15 tons with no payload, that's less than what most 8x8s weigh, and it can add an extra 5 tons in the form of large caliber weapons, up to 30mm multi-canister launchers. Despite this, it can climb up 60% slopes, and comes with a fording depth of 1 meter. The company that makes this thing says it has designed it in such a way as to be easily maneuverable both at high speeds and when caught in battles in areas ranging anywhere from urban settings to high-altitude mountain passes. Helping it do that is its pivot steering ability, as well as the AI-driven navigation system it comes equipped with. Milrem does not say when the vehicle will be ready for active duty, but given how it was built with experience, and using the same subsystems, gained with the other vehicles in the company's arsenal, it probably won't be long now until we see it in action somewhere.